Hello everyone, welcome to Efficient User. Today video is like a very short video. We are just going to see a uh, popular error message in Angular, which every uh, beginner is uh, uh, stuck with, uh, like uh, when they are getting started uh, with experimenting few things. Uh. So the error is actually cannot bind ng model since it isn't a known property of uh, input. Let's see uh, how uh, actually it happens. When our uh, a beginner uh, creating a new application from scaffolding or uh, like a boilerplate code using Angular CLI, they won't have a, a much code in that uh, boilerplate code. So when, when they try to create a input field, so let's have some input field with the ng model. So the type is a text and we are going to have a ng model. And we are going to bind it with a property called info. So the first uh, error message is property info does not exist on app component. Okay, it's not exist. We are just going to create it. Info equal to there. So now the property is there, but uh, you can see the message type event is not assignable to type string. So it, this is not self-explanatory. But when we create an application using Angular CLI, we would have seen a message something like this, cannot bind to ng model since it isn't a known property. And in the console message, we will have similar messages like failure to execute set attribute on element something is not a valid attribute. So basically what it is trying to say is like, um, they couldn't identify what is ng model and they don't have any code to generate when they uh, find this attribute in the runtime. Mainly uh, the reason behind this is like uh, we need to import few models to uh, do few operations. When we are creating a uh, Angular CLA or like a, uh, some other uh, things, uh, we might have missed importing the module called forms module. So let's create an entry here and import forms module. So it will be like import at Angular slash forms. Okay. And I'm going to import a module, forms module. And I'll import here as well, forms module. So at the moment when we had here, I uh, take a look here, like uh, how it is getting changed. So just added, you could see, it just uh, uh, showed the text box here and uh, binded values. we will just uh, clear the console. And I take out this message because it's maybe I'll put some paragraph thing so that it will come in the next slide. And now the application is getting uh, refreshed. We don't have any error messages in the console and the binded value shown here. So if you're a beginner, if you're like um, searching for this error message, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure uh, you subscribe the channel to support us. Keep learning. Thank you.